Now this is a fun chapter because you get to learn how to automate tasks. And how we're going to do that is by using something called a macro. Now, it's a fun chapter, but it's one of the tougher chapters that I teach because I've got two choices. I can bring you through an enormous macro class that gets highly technical and takes entire days to complete, or I could show you just how to shortcut some of the work that maybe is very repetitive. And I think maybe that's going to be a better bet for today. You'll see that here in macros, you can automate any task that you're finding routine that you're doing all the time. An example for this section, we'll create a macro that'll insert a footer. Now, it doesn't seem like much because you can double click and type in Burke properties or whatever needs to be in the footer and click on OK. But if you could execute a keyboard shortcut and have that done for you, or if that footer was a lot more elaborate than just a text field that had page numbers and dates and certain formatting, then you'd see that running this macro would really save you an awful lot of time. Now again, macros can be a very complex subject or a very easy subject. And at this level, we're just going to learn what one is, how to run one, and how to create one to automate some simple tasks. In this example, we'll go ahead and record a macro. Now remember, by definition, what a macro does is it records repetitive tasks so that you can automate them and save yourself some time. Now macros, of course, can get much more advanced than that. We can get right into programming with Microsoft Word and a lot of uh, applications related to Microsoft Word. But at simplest level, here, we're just going to record some keystrokes. Now I'm currently looking at our Burke Properties document here, and I'd like to record a macro that inserts the term Burke Properties with a trademark into the headers into the footers. So in order to do that, once a document is open, we need to go to Developer tab, and once you move over to Developer, you'll see that we have something called code. Visual Basic, Macros, and of course we have something called Record Macro. So let's give that a click. What I'll do here is we'll give it a name of Burke Footer. Now I can assign this macro to a button or to a keyboard shortcut. When I click on keyboard, I can decide what that shortcut's going to be. So my shortcut in this case is going to be the Alt key and then H. And notice, as soon as I do that, it gives me a combination. Of course, I hit H another time and it'll do a comma separated, which means you have to tap H twice. So do be careful, backspace if you've done that. If it has a current keystroke, it will tell you, but for now, I'll just click on Assign. Notice we're saving changes in the normal template. And we'll click on OK or Close. And we are now in what is called recording mode. Now, how I know we're in recording mode is because if you look up here, all I've got is stop recording or pause recording. I don't necessarily have start recording. So now it's time for me to go ahead and be very careful of the keystrokes that I choose because everything I do at this point will in fact be recorded. Now the first thing I want to do is to go to insert and under insert I'd like to go over to footer and click on it. We can start with blank and you'll see down here as I point with my mouse, it looks like a little cassette recorder. That's just telling me it's still recording, and I'll type in Burke Properties. And now, if I want to add formatting, or anything else for that matter, I would have to highlight it and add the formatting or change the fonts or whatever it's going to take. Now, of course, what I would like to do is to go back to the Insert tab, and above and beyond formatting, we know we need to make sure we have our symbol, our trademark symbol. So insert, symbol, and go ahead and pick trademark. Now when we're all done, what you can do is come up here and say stop recording. Now if I stop recording at this point, it's going to leave me in the header and footer tab. So instead, I'll double click up here in the middle of my document. We can close out a header and footer using header and footer here. But at this particular point, I need to go ahead and hit stop recording. 
At this point, of course, once you've gone ahead and stopped your recording, save your work so we don't lose any of it behind the scenes. Macros are, in fact, part of documents and templates, so we want to make sure they're saved.